Today we're releasing our first pedestrian auto brake test results. Our hope is that manufacturers will equip more of the vehicles with these technologies uh, so that we can reduce real world pedestrian fatalities. So since 2009, we've seen about a 45% increase in pedestrian deaths. And in 2017 alone, there were almost 6,000 pedestrian fatalities. Pedestrian detection technology uses forward-looking sensors on the vehicles, including cameras and radar, to detect if there's a pedestrian in front of the vehicle. If the vehicle senses a pedestrian, it will first try to warn the driver through an audible or visual warning. And if the driver doesn't respond, it will automatically apply the brakes to either mitigate or completely avoid a crash. The Institute evaluates pedestrian detection systems in three different scenarios. These scenarios are typical of real-world pedestrian crashes. The first scenario involves a pedestrian standing on the edge of the road who enters the travel lane in front of the vehicle. The second scenario involves a child pedestrian who darts out from behind two parked vehicles. And the third scenario involves a pedestrian walking near the edge of the road in the same direction of the vehicle. So the Institute has three ratings in our pedestrian auto brake test. Those ratings are basic, advanced, and superior, and are based on the vehicle's ability to either mitigate or avoid a crash at two different test speeds in all three of our crash scenarios. We selected these test scenarios because they're common in the real world. The adult crossing from the right side of the road is the most common scenario we see in the real world. The child darting out from behind two parked vehicles is the most challenging for the test vehicle, and the adult walking along the edge of the road results in a significant number of real-world fatalities. We evaluated 11 small SUVs in our first pedestrian series. In general, they did well. We had four vehicles that received a superior rating, five vehicles earned an advanced rating, one vehicle earned a basic rating, and only one vehicle got no credit in our testing. Four of the 11 vehicles we tested earned our highest rating of superior. They were the Honda CRV, the Subaru Forester, Toyota RAV4, and Volvo XC40. The Mitsubishi Outlander only received a basic rating, and the BMW X1 earned no credit because it either didn't brake or had minimal speed reduction in all the scenarios. The Institute also awards credit in the higher speed parallel adult scenario for vehicles that issue a timely warning, which increases a driver's chance of avoiding a crash with the pedestrian. The Honda CRV and Subaru Forester both received this credit. Roughly two thirds of 2019 model vehicles with front crash prevention have pedestrian auto brake capabilities. Some of those also include bicyclist detection or large animal detection. An institute study estimates that systems like the ones we tested have the potential to mitigate or prevent up to 65% of pedestrian crashes and 58% of pedestrian fatalities if all vehicles were equipped with these systems. Our goal with this ratings program is to encourage more manufacturers to equip their vehicles with pedestrian auto brake systems that perform well. We also want to inform consumers about these systems so they can make wise purchasing decisions when they buy a vehicle. We're conducting a pedestrian autonomous emergency brake test on this vehicle. It has forward looking sensors like camera and radar to detect if there's an obstacle, including pedestrians. It will first try to warn the driver through audible or visual warnings. And if the driver doesn't respond, it will automatically apply the brakes. and avoid a collision with a pedestrian.